welcome back to my channel so today guys we're going to make one of my quick vlt sandwich so let's get started so first you're going to need all your ingredients i have tomato cheese need some lettuce some naan bread as well as i'm going to grab some mustard and mayo to add to the, my bread and we're also going to grab some bacon you can make this however you like guys just pick what works for you but these are my basic ingredients i'm using for this sandwich the first thing i do is actually go and put my bacon in the oven i only use two strips of bacon you can use less or more sometimes i only use one and i love this bacon i got it at whole foods it's uh apple smoked bacon i believe it says on there and it's not the thinnest bacon it is a little thick but you can use thinner bacon i just really like this one i found it at whole food and i just loved it since then i that's the one i've been buying for a minute so that's the one i'm gonna use as i said guys it's not the thinnest one it is a little thick so if you do want thinner bacon i suggest guys you go ahead and use that and all i'm gonna do is actually just put these i cook it on a rack and i let the grease drain because i don't want it i don't want all that grease to still be in the bacon when i make it so that's why i'm baking it in the oven so while that's baking what i'm gonna do is actually prep a couple of things so i'm gonna just go ahead and grab my ball and go ahead and get my tomatoes which i use one tomato usually per week i make a couple of this sandwich that's my quick lunch sometime so this is a house tomato guys it is an organic tomato you can use different ones but i like this house tomato again i got this at whole foods if you've seen this on my blogs i go around i pick some of these veggies when i'm out and i'm gonna slice a couple of slices usually i do about three slices and i try to slice them pretty thin because i like the tomatoes the way they fit in the sandwich when they're thin so i'll go ahead and slice three pieces this doesn't have to be fancy guys as you can see my tomatoes are not sliced super fancy <laughs> so just get as much as you want to add in there and that's it guys that's the tomato you want to put and now you're going to put the rest away because this tomato i usually use it about three four times maybe next i'm going to go ahead and rinse my salad this is important i know not everybody look at this but whenever i go to whole foods i always go to the organic aisle so everything has a lot of dirt a lot of grime in it if you've ever pay attention to those this is actually a boston lettuce so a boston butter lettuce actually so i really like this one i got it uh, last week so i'm getting it again this week and i just love the way it tastes but if you take off one of the leaf look how much dirt is on there guys a lot of dirt is in it so we're gonna go ahead and make sure we thoroughly thoroughly rinse this off because we don't want any extra ingredients so you see how clean it is that's how i like it i rinse this off for a good 30 seconds if not more usually so each leaf make sure you're doing the same thing with it and i usually grab about three pieces of good size leaf once i start getting on the inside your smaller leaf i'll usually go to about four to five leaf but three really good large pieces will usually do it for me and that's how much i would put in my sandwich now after that guys what i'm gonna do is it's been usually about five to seven minutes while the bacon is baking i go ahead i grab two pieces of naan bread and i toast them alongside with it you don't have to toast your bread but this blt tastes so much better when you have toasted crispy bread so i will go ahead and put these guys in the oven for the last 10 minutes to 12 minutes because i usually do uh 15 to 17 minutes of my bacon of it baking in the oven so they can get pretty crispy so while that's baking because i want everything to be done together i'll put my cheese aside if you guys can see i have a piece of cheese on there and i'll go ahead and put these breads in the oven so that way they can be quite toasty and everything will be done together so i don't have to wait while my bacon is being done my bread is waiting or anything of that nature now you can do this guys i don't always do this but whenever i notice there's like an extra little weird piece sticking out at the end of the lettuce i do cut those off but this is like once in a while i don't always take that off but i do go ahead and take those little extra piece off if i don't like the way they look but this is just something extra you can do you don't always have to do this the lettuce usually they're good to go i don't have to worry about removing any little extra pieces again guys just make sure everything is clean everything is good 
that you don't have any dirt and grime on those lettuce very important guys so you don't get sick whenever you're preparing anything that has any dirt and grime on it so when that's done i take the non breads out about a minute or two before the bacon actually so i can go ahead and prep that while i'm waiting for that to finish what i usually go do is I don't always do this, but sometime if I feel like it, I will go ahead, before I put the mustard and the mayo on there, I will go ahead and cut the bread. So if you guys can see, I'm using the mayo, this mayo from Walmart. It's a regular mayo, and it's a Dijon mustard, again, from Whole Foods. It's a really good mustard. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the breads in half. This makes it easier to eat the sandwich because it is a pretty good size one, so I don't want to have the whole thing having to try to eat around it. So I will go ahead and cut it into two pieces. So I'll have two sandwiches, which I'll eat it all at once. I just don't like to eat the whole big piece together. So I'm going to go ahead and split it into two halves. And it's very simple. You can go ahead and tear it. I'm just being fancy, guys, using the knife because I have it. And I'm cutting through it so I can go ahead and make two sandwiches. Now... After I cut those two, I'm going to go ahead and add my mustard and mayo. Now, for the mustard and mayo, you can add as much or as little as you want. I usually don't add a lot because I don't want a lot of mustard and mayo on my sandwich. I don't like it to be extra soggy. So, I'll go ahead and add just a little bit, usually about a teaspoon, maybe a little bit over that, of mayo on each side of the breads and just a tiny bit of mustard if you guys can see like i'm gonna just grab a little bit with the knife it, it's barely i i would say i use about a teaspoon for all of it overall again guys remember add as much or as little as you want i usually don't like a lot on my sandwich but i know some people they like a lot of mustard a lot of mayo so go ahead make this how you want to it'll come out pretty good either way Sometimes I would add a little bit more mustard and mayo, but usually because I'm making this for a quick lunch, I don't add that much because I'm going to have another dinner later on that's pretty hearty usually. So I don't want to overstuff myself doing lunch because I do have to work, so I don't want to go ahead and fall asleep. And I just mix this together, guys. Don't have to be fancy. Again, this is very simple, quick sandwich. You just go ahead and mix your mustard and mayo I always make sure I cover the entire side of the bread. It just makes it easier. It makes it a lot more tasty to eat because I don't want to bite into one piece. I'm tasting the mustard and mayo with, along with the rest of the ingredients. But then I bite into another piece and it's not on there. So I don't want that to happen. I go ahead and make sure this is all over the side of the bread. So when I add my ingredients everything is on there evenly after i add my mustard and my mayo guys what i go ahead and do is layer all of my vegetables and fruit so i'll put lettuce tomato you can layer this by the way however you want to this is not like a proper way or anything like that i just go ahead and layer everything together i'll put the lettuce and tomato first at the bottom and then layer more lettuce more tomatoes I try to make sure to put the cheese in the middle. It makes it easier to eat it that way, I realize, because I don't have to worry about it sliding off to a side or anything of that nature. So put the cheese on how you like. And then I will go ahead and cut everything in the middle so it can match the shape of the bread that I cut earlier. So everything will be able to come apart a lot easier. That way, all my tomato and all my salads are cut. This may be the long way of doing this, guys. I know you could have tear it before that but it just makes it a lot even and easier now if you're not gonna add bacon you're done guys this is your sandwich you're good to go you don't have to add anything extra you are set all you do is put this on the plate and go and you can see it's ready it's more like a lettuce and tomato sandwich so that would be it you didn't have to you don't have to add any bacon to it so you'd be ready to eat your sandwich is good grab yourself some juice you're ready and good to go now if you are going to go ahead and be like me and add some bacon on there like i always do you're gonna go ahead and grab your bacon now i just lift the top piece you don't have to add it inside or anything like that sometimes i add it in between but this is the easiest way for me after i put everything together i go ahead i grab my piece of bacon 
I make two whenever I'm making the sandwich like this so I can put a slice on each side and I go ahead I cover this up and you're all set guys blt sandwich done and ready to eat so that's it thank you guys so much for watching if you haven't already guys of course subscribe to my channel click that notification bell so you'll know when i have a new video that's coming out of course always leave all of your comments down below don't forget if you make a blt sandwich definitely let me know in the comments below and definitely go over and watch my last video